Well, here I am again, and uh, we all know how much I love making videos and posting them on my blog, and I'm very excited tonight because um, it's official that I am going to be a PC quilter in home rep, and I already have a couple of friends that are um, have HQ 16s and are interested in um, getting a PC quilter, or at least looking at it, <coughs> and the possibility of computerized quilting. So, um, last the last video I made, um, I didn't really have a chance to show you the design that was stitching out, but um, I still, unfortunately, have the same quilt on the frame. I've been a little busy with the garage sale and everything else going on and ordering new furniture. So, I thought that I would um, show you the pattern that is... Um, being stitched out, and this is called uh, Elegant Swirls, and it's from QuiltRecipes.com, and it's an Ellen Munich design, and so I thought I would maybe give you a little bit of a clip of um, this pattern being sewn out so that you can see the intricacy of uh, what the PC quilter can do, which I am, I am never ceased I never cease to be amazed as far as um, what the PC quilter can do and the designs that it can sew out. Um, I know there's a lot of quilters out there that do incredible free motion work and I know that I'm not going to be one of them and I'm okay with that. And I enjoy doing edge to edge patterns and um, some, you know, motifs and individual blocks and things like that that um, can really show off the PC quilter's quilting ability and um, kind of zoom in here a little bit so you can see and uh, certainly I envy all of those three motion quilters and, and the wonderful things that they can do but like I said I know that I'm not going to be that person I'm very techie oriented and uh, I like using gadgets and I like computers and having all that kind of stuff available to do um, to do the quilting for me. Now, if you can see this a little bit, you can see that this is stitching exactly over a previous line that it, that it has sewn on this particular design. Um, that's why it takes an hour and a half uh, for this size quilt to sew out each row, and uh, but it stitches over it perfectly, and um, it's a it's a beautiful design. I've had a tremendous amount of compliments. Uh, on the design, uh, on another quilt that I have at a um, at the quilt shop, and uh, people are very impressed by it, and so becoming one of my favorites, and and for a lot of customers, becoming their favorites too. Um, so I'll just kind of give you a back view since the handlebars in the way of, of my uh, sewing machine, and try to zoom in a little bit so you can see, hopefully, some of the detail. Um, of the stitching and how it sews over itself and I know the lighting isn't the greatest I'm using a little you know Nikon uh, digital camera here so kind of have to bear with me if I can get closer to where the light of the sewing machine is I might be able to get oh that might be a little blurry there sorry about that uh, get a little bit more in there without creating a shadow from the handlebar um, so you can see that it's stitching out still, and uh, I just love it. I'm going to um, kind of bring it back around and um, to the other side and hopefully be able to get a view of the actual PC quilter carriage moving so that you can see that. I think a lot of people have always questions about the actual PC quilter carriage and um, how it works and if you've watched the other videos that are on my blog or on YouTube you can um, you know I show you in the beginning what the carriage looks like but I don't ever really show you the carriage actually moving and so this is a good um, sort of a good little video to see the carriage moving so you understand my machine is merely sitting on top of the carriage. Um, that red box there is often referred to as a puck and that plugs into my machine and into the PC quilter and then there is um, 
a cord here that runs out the back of the machine and uh, hooks to my computer, which is um, this cord that's down here. This is a um, parallel port cord. Um, the PC filter can be plugged into a parallel port, a USB or a serial cable. So there's a variety of options based on the type of computer that you have. And I think that's one of the things I really like about the PC filter. I don't have to get a new computer. I don't have to spend thousands of dollars on a computer. And um, I can use what I already have. I can do incredible designs and layouts. I think um, I you know, obviously have a slideshow on my blog of the um, of the red and white quilt opposite the track and you can see that you can do amazing intricate layouts uh, with the PC quilter and it isn't a, you know an investment that's going to break my bank so to speak um, and so that's one of the features that I really like about it and uh, you know, I can use it on a home frame. You know, I know a lot of people out there, you know, if you're going to do quilting for others and things like that, you know, um, Gamels and Noltings and APQSs are all the major brands that are out there, and they are wonderful. Um, but if you're going to quilt for yourself and your family and friends and maybe do some quilts on the side to make a little extra money, this is a great way to start, a great investment. Um, and then if you get to the point where, you know, you're doing two and three quilts a day, <laughs> God bless you, um, then um, definitely would, you know, want to look at uh, uh, increasing my machine um, width and space, obviously, but uh, in addition, the great thing about the PC Quilter, um, they have a new device, it's called a side mount, and with the side mount, it is a device that hooks to your carriage that comes with your frame, and it has a locking device, and the device locks onto your carriage, so if this was my regular carriage, there would be a device here that locks onto... Um, locks onto my um, carriage that came with my, turn that off there, ran out of bobbin thread, so we'll have to backspace a little bit. Uh, you know, the, the uh, side mount hooks onto the side of my carriage here. It, there's a, a locking device that locks into place, and then all it does is it moves my carriage, and um, so you can actually use uh, long arm machines um, and uh, you know, have the ability to use the PC Quilter. Again, it's about your investment and, and how much you can afford and what you can do. And, you know, God love the people that can um, afford the, the, you know, thousands and thousands of dollar machines. But uh, I've been very pleased with this. And um, with that being said, I'm going to stop because I don't think I can hold the camera, change the bottom thread, do all that. And uh, hopefully you got to see a little bit more about the PC Quilter. And uh, certainly if there's any type of demo or uh, if you're interested in um, learning more, seeing more about it, you can feel free to email me or um, set up a time to meet with me and see it in person. And uh, I'm located in Ohio, and I hope that's going to be my territory, but I haven't quite found out everything yet. So uh, for that, I'm gonna, with that, I'm going to sign off, and I hope everyone has a good night.